Hi everyone, my name is Amrita De Silva and I represent Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, formerly known as Ceylon, is an island nation south of the Indian Ocean. Its diverse landscapes range from rainforests and arid plains to highlands and sandy beaches. It's famed for its ancient Buddhist ruins, including the 5th century citadel Sigiriya, with its palace and frescoes. The city of Andhradapura, Sri Lanka's ancient capital, has many ruins dating back more than 2,000 years. Sri Lanka is best described as the Garden of Eden. Even though Sri Lanka suffered through a civil war that lasted for more than two decades, it was able to recover and move forward as one nation. For my Beauty with a Purpose project, I decided to focus on special needs children. There are over 300,000 such children in my country. I decided to work with two schools, the Siviraja School in Chila, which is located about two hours away from the center of the city, and the IDE School in Rajpuri, which is in the center of the city. I decided to help them with their daily essentials, education needs, and sports equipment. I also wanted to spread awareness about such children among my community. My journey to the schools were very long but exciting. I wanted to know the children and learn about their lives and how I could help them. Upon visiting the school, all I saw were the innocent smiles on their faces. There were nearly 55 children boarded at the school. Many of them were orphaned by their parents. It was very important for me to make a difference for these children. I started my awareness campaign to support and educate parents about children. I traveled around my city selling tickets to collect funds for these schools. I quickly learned that children with special needs and their parents do not have much support in this society. I wanted to give those parents the assurance of the children's future and give them a better place and a better education and a better future. And they did not have enough funds for meals or dry rations. One of the teachers at the school is also blind and he has dedicated his life to help children who are less fortunate. At I couldn't bear to see the condition that they had to live in, so I went back to the city to make arrangements for my next visit. Many of these children are orphaned, isolated and left out of society. The parents of these children do not have the necessary funds or the support to carry on the lives with their children. As a computing major, I knew that social media was a very powerful platform to gather people's attention and to address issues which are usually forgotten. As a part of my awareness program, I managed a Facebook community which started in 2015 and continued to post and discuss issues concerning special needs children. The community is known as Drop of Life Sri Lanka. currently has over 500 active followers. I was very touched by the little request by the children. All they wanted was to play and be remembered by someone. I collected the funds from the city and managed to collect some donations. I continued my awareness program together with the help of my family. I bought paint and other items with the limited amount of funds I received. When I visited the schools again, I painted and refurbished a part of the school. And gave the children a little tea party and also gave them some books, educational items and sports equipment. I spent my day playing badminton and answering their many questions. Upon winning my national title, I knew that I could use all my media attention to give the voiceless a voice. Shortly after my win, I joined the Red Cross Society of Sri Lanka in their Family Empowerment Program. This program helps families who are affected by the war. Many of those families have a member who is disabled due to the war. Families like these do not have a steady income, and the aim of this project is to provide them a steady income and a better life. 
I feel extremely happy to be a part of the Red Cross Network, attending to the needs of the conflict-affected families, converting their huts into what they can call a home. Building homes for 21,300 such families, building community centers for them, and assisting 3,000 test cases to enhance their livelihood. So much of satisfaction to be a volunteer for the Red Cross and now their brand ambassador for this empowerment program. These conflict affected families, not just in the north of my country, but the border villages of Anuradhapura and Polonnaruwa, they suffered for almost 30 years. Their fears, anger, sadness and frustration should be removed through psychosocial interventions along with helping them financially to empower them to make them families with dignity. Through this journey, I know I have made an impact in a few lives. Maybe not too many, but together we can make a difference for all the children around this world. I only ask of you to stop discrimination against special needs children and to be open-minded, to see their love, their creativity and their innocence. We can all together make a difference for all the children around this world. Thank you.